Hello everybody and welcome to another video. Uh, this one is about keyboard shortcuts and I very like them. I even made a special rig on my desktop to get my keyboard on the top of my tablet. You can probably see in the video here. And uh, this video will not cover all the video, the keyboard shortcuts of Krita. Of course not. There is so much but only eight of my favorite and I tried to make funny title for them because some of them are a bit hidden, some other are not assigned by default and I hope you will find it interesting. So let's start. 1. The Selection Outline This is a shortcut to trigger the Selection Outline tool and it's very useful to switch with the Brush tool the brush tool is with the B key uh, because you can create on the fly hard edges this way and you can move your selection and also paint patterns this way. So it's very useful and yes, I forgot to tell about a keyboard shortcut. It's because it doesn't come with one by default with Krita. So you will need to open the setting and go to the shortcuts and look for the keyword outline I personally map it to the key square, uh, it's a little two on the keyboard and uh, this is a key of the Azerty French keyboard. So yes, you probably need to find something similar on your keyboard. I think it's very useful to switch between them while painting and that's why it's my first choice. 2. The transformation combo so this is a combo of shortcuts to fix anything in a drawing. Uh, you can move a leg or you can move an eye. You can move every part or deform every part of a drawing very easily. Uh, you will need to start with a selection. You can press Ctrl R on the keyboard to get the rectangular selection. Then you press Ctrl T to enter a transformation. And then you can tweak the art. You press Enter to bake the result and then Ctrl D to deselect and you finalize with the B key to come back to the brush. So to resume, it's Ctrl R or the selection, Ctrl T, Enter, Ctrl D, B. And one extra little tips, while you are in transformation, you can right click and access to the other transform mode like perspective or liquefy on the fly. So it's very useful. 3. The ultimate shortcut. If you press on the keyboard the F1 key, you will access to the documentation of Krita. It will open in your web browser instantly and you will enjoy hours of tutorial and good tips. So if you ever wonder about something, about a feature, what means a slider or anything, just press F1. In the search field, type the keyword of the feature and then you will find a full documentation about it. Chapter 4. Shadows and Light. You'll find on your keyboard two keys next to each other. It's the K and L. And this is for putting your color to the dark or putting your color to the light. It's your active color, your foreground color. And it's useful when you paint and you want to increase light or increase shadow directly on the fly. If you want to decrease or increase uh, the size of the step between the value, go to the advanced color selector, click the little icon and it's hidden on the top. You have to, to switch this panel and you will find it here. 5. The perfect eraser. So you probably think I will speak about the E key for the eraser and no, I'm not taking you for a noob. I want to, to speak about something a bit more complex here and you first need to go to the settings, configure Krita, Go to the Python plugin manager and ensure the 10 brushes script is active. Then while you are on the setting, go to the keyboard shortcut and write the keyword 
activate. You will need to assign a keyboard shortcut to the activate brush preset one. And here I shoot the key one on my other keyboard. That's why it's make a glyph like this. Then I press OK and go to tool, script, then brush. On this selection dialog, you can select a brush preset on your list and then click on the socket with your key. It's done. Now, when you do pencil or when you do inking, you have a reliable eraser at your disposal. Each time you click on this key, you will get exactly these presets, no matter what preset you get. And if you click a second time on this key, it's a toggle. So you will be back to your other brush. And this is very convenient for inking or for drawing with Krita. 6. Toggle layer visibility. This keyboard shortcut is not assigned by default. So if you want to change it, you need to go to the settings, the keyboard shortcuts, and type the keyword visibility. I personally map it to the key H on my keyboard. It might steal another shortcut, but I don't use it. So I'm using this H key to hide and reveal my layer while painting, and it's a keyboard I really enjoy while I'm doing paint over because I can see my progress. I can at any time while painting see the before and after of any situation. And it's very useful when I do also color adjustment. Seven, opacity keys. So these two keys are next to each other and it's the I and O key. I don't have a mnemonic for the I, but the O is a bit looking like opacity. And these two keys will switch to higher or lower opacity as you paint. So it's very useful when you need to glaze something a bit more subtly or when you need to switch a brush preset that has already low opacity to something higher on the fly. Eight, and the final one, the glass of water or reload original presets. This one is not assigned by default also in Krita and it will trigger the little reload original preset you have on the toolbar on the top. I map it to the Q key on my keyboard because it looks a bit like the icon, but it's still the shortcuts for the multi brush, but you know, the mandala things. So I don't use it a lot, so I'm fine with attributing the Q to reload original presets. And why? But because when I paint, I often tweak the preset. I tweak the size, I tweak the opacity, and I tweak the flow or even more things. And I often need to ask for a real brush to dip it in the water and find it clean because it's like if the preset is a bit dirty. So I'm pressing just Q and I get to the original size, to the original opacity, and to the original behavior. So this is a shortcut I'm using a lot. So that's all for this video about keyboard shortcuts. I hope you learned something. And if you have other keyboard shortcuts in mind to share with others, feel free to write them on the comment section. I don't tell this to make marketing or something. You can write them on my blog or on social media or everywhere. It's just, it can be interesting for every one of us. So see you later, bye bye.